interpret that. Yeah, and the two wide players pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, the very exciting Antoine Griezmann. Um, he has an impeccable first touch, and with the ball under control, he can use as many skills and, and swift changes of direction in, in running from out to win. And he wreaks havoc. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Going for big chance! Oh, the ball's come loose! He's got it, and he's got time! He's it out of harm's way. The referee's given a throw. Now it's Griezmann. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Mbappe looking to get on the end of it. Great leap! He's delivered all right! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header. And if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. France have an early lead. Good start. Oh, can he finish? And that's been lever clear. And the through ball is intercepted. Swap shoots! Saved only by poor finishing. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Kimpembe. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. to get it away Fence has got rid of that and Titi forward it goes he's making good use of his strength there just refuses to be out muscled Mares and the ball's come out now it's Brahimi. Brahimi finds himself offside. Just, it seems, but just is enough. Loris gets it upfield. Sidibe. He's coming on the right now. What's on? Rafael Baran. Now it's Giroud, over to the left, played back in, going for goal! He's tried one, no, not quite. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him, he may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Chiru goes long. Titi knocks it away. It is a corner. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. And it's Slimani. Bap. 
Mbappe plays it forward. Now it's Shiru. Kimpembe. Fakir. Kimpembe. Gulam does well there. Alert. Dinks one in. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance, but very promising. France just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Played out to the right. Now it's Slimani. And he's gone for it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. from there oh peter you can't teach that you either have it or you don't his anticipation is on another level to everyone else's superb algeria grab the equalizer and we're all square look get your seat belts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride slimani and here's the chance to counter chip through Stitch defending, but that'll do. Sidibe went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. Kant, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Into the channel. Whipped in. And the whistle goes for half time. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Reflections on the first half. Well, we thought this would be close, Peter, and it's it's proving us right so far. They're well matched, and it, it presents a, a fascinating battle of wits to see who'll emerge on top or or otherwise. Been a decent 45 minutes, competitive certainly, and a goal each. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, there's not a change to either side during the break. Let's wrestle off the ball. It's gone for a throw in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Shiru. Mbappe. That's a decent ball. And it's hoisted clear. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Now it's Fekir. Here's the cross. Keeper's ball. Aimed long and direct. Mares pumps it into the area. And he's dealt with that well. Fakir goes looking. Right through the middle. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. He's left his man, and that's been leave it clear. Slimani can shoot here. It's one goal. They've done. 
done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Algeria get themselves into the lead. And they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack of flair. Griezmann looking to run onto it. Griezmann, he's got away. Room for a shot. Oh, the whistle's gone. What's he given? And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. He was just never going to miss. And it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way. Didn't he take it well? This is quite a battle. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. No foul, says the referee. Oh, it's taken out, that'll be a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Fauzi Gulam. And he just whacks it away. And the shot! Really well taken goal. And they've got their lead back. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Poor defending or not, that was a clinical finish. Both the movement and the execution were top draw. Algeria go into the lead. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Shoots! should have hit the net Mbappe now it's Fekir drilled in can he score and he's cut it out. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Mbappe. Titi plays it forward. Giroud spreads it towards the left. France are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Out wide to the right. Back into the middle. Has a pop! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. What is Brahimi! Algeria can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Mbappe. Gulam gets into the right position to intercept. And that's it. Algeria did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. <laughs> After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Algeria were totally organized, disciplined, and professional here throughout. They knew exactly what they were doing and duly assured. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.
Oh, off we go then. So, Jim, tell me this. Who are you looking for in particular here? Well, the very... Ex is it in? Giroud. In he goes again. He's got away with one there. Giroud really got in the face of his opponent to set it up. It's great grafting. Forward quickly. Kimpembe. Now it's Fekir. Oh, good interception. Mbappe. And Titi. Forward it goes. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Aimed long and direct. Here it comes. Now, can he capitalize? Slimani. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. And it's Giroud. Out wide to the right. Mbappe shoots! A great chance. It was a quality ball in. Oh, how has that not ended up in the back of the net? It was a cracking ball in the way he drilled it across and kept it down, too. Loris gets it upfield. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Shiru. And it's Sidibe. Slimani. It's come loose. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Slimani goes looking. Getting out wide, but the less said about that pass, the better. Rahimi. Algeria still to register a shot on target. Looks to thread it through. Here's a corner. Good chance. And that's been leave it clear. That's a foul, free kick's been given. Rafael Varane. France have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Brushed off the ball there. And it's Giroud. Fakir. Right through the middle. Fakir. He's got away. Has a swing at it. That is wayward. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Kimpembe looking for space out wide tries to stroke it through and helps available out wide he just whacks it away. Slimani. Slimani. Oh, 
regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. He's got options out wide. Mbappe has it in a wide position. Hits one! Goal! France! And France are in front! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Forward it goes. Deftly done. It's beautifully weighted. He's left his man, and the shot! And in it goes! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for him, allowing him to get into such a good position. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Plays it out to the wing. Gets the chance to cross. There is the half-time whistle. Reflections on the first half. Algeria were desperate for the half-time whistle. A regroup and a rethink is imperative to rescue this. Here we go again, then. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Mbappe goes up and over. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. But very promising. France seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Fakir. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And Titi. Conte. Mbappe, Griezmann, now it's Griezmann, not the worst cross in the world but still room for improvement, pushes it out wide, he's being closely tested here, he's not played the ball, that's a foul, well the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance, yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach. Looking to shoot! Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. There's a long ball. Titi boots it to safety. Just about up to the hour now. No, no way through there. Mbappe has created one ball already. Sidibe. Mbappe. Algeria haven't made a substitution yet. Slimani, Brahimi, Fakir, Griezmann, gets it back, they've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department, Mbappe, Sidibe, and it's Griezmann, who's ball, who's going to get there? 
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Kimpembe positions himself well and cuts it out. Mornby. Ulan tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Mbappe clips one through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Fakir. Kimpembe. Fakir. Aimed long and direct. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Sidibe, Mbappe, huddling down that right flank, Griezmann, Kante goes looking, Griezmann, was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Ulam plays it forward. Conte. And it's Griezmann. Mbappe. Now it's Giroud. Now it's Griezmann. He's found his man. Mbappe. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bentaleb. Now the counter. Slimani plays a clever pass. Goes for goal. And he's there to make a great save. Mares is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Alain knocks it away. Keeper's ball. And that is that. Algeria beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. We look back on the game then, Jim. Algeria simply forgot to turn up with an attack, Peter. So off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, the very exciting Antoine Griezmann. He has an impeccable first touch, and with the ball under control, he can use as many skills and, and swift changes of direction in, in running from out to win. And he wreaks havoc. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so... No. Has a hit! And it's a goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. France have an early lead. Good start. And it's Griezmann. Mbappe. Griezmann hits it back. Giroud. It's Giroud! <laughs> Done very well to intervene. Now it's Slimani. He's on his way. Now, can he capitalise? Mbappe. Oh, good interception. France have opted to really stretch the game now. 
Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Has he picked him out? And the shot! Really well taken goal! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. France have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Chip through. Griezmann. Fakir! Pinged forward. Mares. He's got through. Now it's Slimani. Just the goalkeeper. And Slimani! Goal! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Back into the middle. It's got through and... and... He's got the ball glued to his feet. City Bay pushes it out wide. Griezmann plays it out to the flank. Played out to the right. In towards... Looking to shoot! Oh, just couldn't quite turn it in. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Griezmann with the short one. That intervention was very necessary. Shiru. Shiru! Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Giroud can shoot here. And the counter is on. Mares. And it's Griezmann. Can't get the better of his opposite number. France have a free kick. He should have done better, and he knows it. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Algeria have it back, and they can go again. Bentaleb. Goulan with a long pass. Here it comes. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Mares. A chance from a corner. Up for the header! Back of the net! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it will happen. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. This has become one superb game of football. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Fakir. It's gone for a throw-in. We sit high. Goalkeeper's ball. 
Well, they can break here. Slimani making use of the space out wide. Mares. Oh, nice touch. Mares plays it in. Loris has that under control. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. Algeria playing their part in a real slugfest here. A glut of goals and nothing to suggest much is going to change. So we reach the halfway point. We've seen some really terrific football in that half with the flow of goals. And of course there are mistakes, but I'm not in a, a mood to moan. Quite a half. More of the same, please. Score at the interval, 2-2. The game has already resumed here. Oh, to change to either side during the break. Algeria claiming a corner, and the referee concurs. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Hits one! Fakir plays it forward. Fakir, who has made his impact already. Slimani and the finish Titi gets rid without sophistication and it's been taken straight back Balls loose who's getting there Mbappe now it's Giroud and it's Fekir Kimpembe Aimed long and direct. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. And he just whacks it away. Oh, he couldn't quite make it. Ben Taleb and it's hoisted clear Brahimi City Bay tries to get it forward quickly Mbappe goes looking Mbappe Giroud Mbappe Mares now the counter Brahimi and he has been fouled there and he's going long Titi knocks it away Forward it goes. Got a shoots. Goal, France. Into the lead once more. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So we have a breakthrough. Griezmann. And it's Griezmann. Sidibe. Conte. Kimpembe. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Mares encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. A really good feat from him. He has a pop! It's surely this time! It's anyone's ball! It's obvious that they prefer a greater cushion to sit on, but will they?
Slimani tries to get it forward quickly. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Giroud. Fakir. Mbappe. Set up one goal so far. It's a loose ball. France are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Slimani. Can he finish? It's in. And that looks to me very much like an own goal. Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Algeria, got some help from Lady Luck there, they all count. Mbappe. Sidibe. Mbappe. Griezmann. Griezmann crosses. Can he put it away? That's caused a worry or two. Contender certainly could have and should have made more of that. Loris gets it upfield. He's through. Timely intervention. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. A chance! He's got away. Fires it in low. A winner after 90. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. A short respite for the players as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. And if you're just back, the action is back on the way already. Algeria did fantastically well to force extra time, having been on the brink of defeat in normal time. In fact, you could say they're the better off of the two teams, at least psychologically. Looks to thread it through. He goes long. He's made certain that won't get through. Bentaleb plays a clever pass. Played into space out wide. A bit of throw in. Mbappe goes looking. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Fakir. It's Fakir! deceptive what quality it just came down to a battle of wills between him and the keeper and he won it with a cracking piece of trickery Mares! oh that could cost them makes you think peter they could have been doing this earlier still it's encouraging great strength too strong for his opponent Drives it towards the front. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Algeria seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Giroud. Now it's for, it's for Kier! Just whacks it away. Brahimi displaying his. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. The action has already restarted. They have given it everything. It's been grueling. But who will be standing at the very end? Aimed long and direct. And he heaves it forward. That's been one straight back. Fakir. Matuidi. 
He's looked long this time. Tried to play it through. Matuidi clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. And it's Gula. Brahimi. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Sidibe. Back to the keeper and go again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Now it's Shiru. Big, Big chance! One on one! Gets good distance on it. Fakir goes for the cross. And the ball's come out. France certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And that will be the final act. Well, a full-blooded contest. Both teams had their moments. But they are beaten by the odd goal. You look back on the game then, Jim. I enjoyed that, Peter. Both teams went about their work in a really committed manner. And for me, it just always held an interest. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.